It's a scandal. An absolute outrage. Don't touch anything, please. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them. An exclusive sales contract. Mr. Rock. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive sale. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Don't touch anything, please. This suitcase contains my archives. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, will I ever get any peace? What should we do next, Holmes? The entire train has disappeared. It's a...
Uh, Watson, would you like some tea? No. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. Holmes, I don't understand. Why do you care so much about this business with the mines? Thank you. 
There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Traces. Let's take a closer look. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? See you later, my good man. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar.
This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. The switch is rusted, but it still works. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. The railway ends here. That is strange. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble. But it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were trapped under the collapsed mines, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dig out the mines. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. May we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, what? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen.
Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Good shot, Watson. I always knew you were it. I didn't want another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? Yes, but not in our sitting room, and not with you wearing a blindfold. Holmes, what happened? I feel deathly. And you look it. Let me examine you. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your old habits. The pupil is dilated. The temperature appears to be normal. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. A weak pulse, around 50 beats per minute. You're dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The antidote. <laughs> Give it to me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? Now. Please. Here. Drink it all. Don't tell me that you did this to yourself. 
Hemlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Holmes? Imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. Mr. Holmes, Inspector Lestrade is here to see you. Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. Ah, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to find you here. I need your help. This is a strange one. We have brought in two young bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. They were found stranded in a rowing boat that was drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the buff, but uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway, there was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that the largest steamer ever built? Yes. And these two young banker chaps are sons of the owners of the White Star Line, the company that built it. There are rumours of corruption. I'm not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll keep it, then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe to your liking. It's a murder, but we're unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. It's at the Roman Baths in Strand Lane. A murder. A vanishing weapon. The Roman Baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. 